table. Oh, you're right. Any requests? <laughs> Sweetie, would you say grace? Yo, 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 yo. GMS fam. What's happening? I don't know if you noticed that sample. Let's see if y'all, do y'all notice where that sample comes from? I, I hopefully, hopefully I can get away with it. Hopefully YouTube will let me get away with it. But that, 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 that beat that I just played right there was from the classic motherfucking Fresh Prince show if you didn't know uh, the first very first episode of the uh, Fresh Prince show uh, where Will was sitting at the table and he had the different wine glasses and he started making a beat with the shit I took that and I made a beat out of that hold on let me, let me, let me, let me play it back real quick just so y'all know I ain't fucking around Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, 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 welcome to the GMS show, man. I'm your host, Black GMS. Starting off with positivity, man. Good energy, good vibes. Hope everybody's having a good motherfucking Saturday, man. It's fucking 80 degrees in Minnesota. So I feel great right now. I feel fucking fantabulous, man. I feel great. Uh, so today's episode obviously was inspired by the chat because, uh, I, I decided to do a, a review on the, on the, well, not even really a review, just to sit back and, and watch the Craig Facts podcast with, with everybody here. And I uh, started seeing some comments and they're like, yeah, you hear about the Billy Sorrell and delay shit. And I'm like, I, I didn't even know who the fuck delay was. I was like, delay, delay. I thought they were talking about a, a a female or something like that, and they were like, "Yeah, they said D Billy said uh, delay D D delay sucked his dick," and I'm like, "Oh, well, I I, I guess uh, they're gonna have to figure that out." And then come to find out, delay was a nigga, and apparently it's way uh, deeper than that. Pause. So. As I was watching the Craig Fact Show, I I, I kind of got a, a gist of what was happening. Uh, within within the 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 Billy Sorrell and uh, Delay situation, and I was like, okay, this is this is getting out of hand. I, I think I might have to have to dig deeper into this myself. Pause and find out what the fuck is going on. So I went and decided to first of all, first of all, let me just let me just let me just give a shout out. Let me just give a shout out to 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 Billy Sorrell. <laughs> <laughs> Let me first and foremost give a shout out to because because the one thing one thing is that uh, regardless of the situation, Billy Sorrell is a, is a is a funny dude. Uh, 
I got wind of who he was uh, from the from the roast me uh, episodes. You know, different roast me. Same with uh, Craig. Actually, Craig. Actually, I I didn't see Craig for the first time on the Fifty One Fifty show. My first time seeing Craig was on uh, was on roast me. So you know, same with uh, with, with with CP and you know what I'm saying, uh, motherfucking um, uh, Boo Capone. Just a, a, f- a few a few comedians I got I got you know I got familiar with through roast me and shit. Now, if anybody else is familiar with Roast Me, they'll understand that any time they had a fucking opportunity to go at Billy Sorrell, they will always make fun of his sexuality, and mainly because of how he dressed. I don't, I don't, I thought it. At least I thought it was because of how he dressed. Now, not that you know, there's certain people that can't dress a certain way and be you know stylish or whatever without having to be gay, but it was like they was going at this nigga. And the thing was, it wasn't like he was, like, self-conscious about it or anything. It wasn't like he was, like, thrown off. He, I mean, it was roast me, so he was getting niggas back. So it was like, they going to come at me for this. I'm going to come at them for that. It was just regular shit, right? And, it, and it'll be funny because, like, they'll kind of, you know, they'll go in on him a little bit, whatever. He'll go in on people. Now, given the certain circumstances of this uh, this here dilemma, it makes those jokes so much worse <laughs> and they hit so much harder when you really realize what the fuck is going on here now i'm gonna play a few videos that i came across on youtube just to give everybody else you know more of a, a, a understanding of what's going on i'm pretty sure you already know what's going on because y'all the ones that told me but just for the sake of the video we're going to play some of the clips that uh that 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 transpire from this and we're gonna we're gonna talk about this a little bit i want to know what you guys think about this as well because of course y'all brought it to my attention uh so here 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 we go i want to i want to play i want to play this first because apparently this is how it started now uh what you're gonna see here is billy talking uh, I, I'm, I believe on his instagram live and trying to explain to people why the podcast that he's doing uh that somebody ended up quitting and that that's crazy. So it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of podcasts out here that end up having the the people that started to end up like quitting and, and and separating and some beef happening, like some real real, not like real real beef, but like some some fucking beef of some sort always transpires from this shit. So just listen to what the fuck going on. Cause did you miss me? We don't do no lying over there. Delay left because I told him he was a whole ass nigger for trying to holler at my wife. He said some fuck shit. I called him out on it. And instead of being a man about it, he wants to play like, oh, I'm under some drug-induced coma and I don't read text messages and screenshots. Nigga offered to fly my wife out in 2019. Then when I charged him up about it, he tried to act like it wasn't him. So don't try and act like you on the bigger and better things and we all good. We not. We not. Let's get this shit popping, nigga. Like I told you for what you did, I try to love you through it. You still feel like, you know what? I don't deserve you above that. Now somebody did come get you, nigga. I was trying to come get you. You weren't trying to see me, nigga. So that the shit. For the record, this don't sound like two friends getting into it. These sounds like two, uh, two uh, intimate, two intimate beings getting into it. <laughs> Be real. What's up, Bianca? Let's not lie. Yeah, I'm going to play that next, black man. Let's not lie, bro. What's good, Elma? You won't answer my phone man. call. JR. You won't call me back. Spank Loke. So, D-Lay, take it in, nigga. Come get this nigga. All the three, two, sh- three shit, all the wild shit we did. Hey, bro, that shit wasn't cool. You don't offer to fly my wife nowhere, nigga. Probably. But when I say shit like that, everybody get on all tensed up. <laughs> and she was out of pocket for even responding and entertaining the shit. Even though I allowed them to be friends and be close, I didn't I didn't okay that. And that shit still don't sit right with me. So yeah, nigga. Don't play like nigga, I was running from you, nigga. 
we can shoot this out, we can fade this out, but that's not your, that's not how you get down. He said we can shoot this out. I didn't know Billy was, was out here thugging. You wanna play like you above shit, nigga? I'm a real nigga, bro. But that's what I mean. There's a difference between how this sound. It don't sound like two friends getting into it. It sound like two lovers that got into it. A real nigga. So let's call it like it is, nigga. I'm sober now. Head clear now. That shit's still some fuck shit. You know what it is? It sound like you need a hood. I go run and tell that. Run and tell that. You know how niggas be saying shit. random shit when they be on live and shit? Just don't even know why they be saying it. He said, run, tell that. It's not gonna play like, nigga, like, yeah, I'm crazy, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, nigga. You go <laughs> tell one of your homeboys, whoever the fuck you wanna holler at in Hollywood, nigga, see me, nigga. I take my fade, I run my fade any day, nigga. Warren ACL, nigga, ain't got shit to do with your hands, nigga. Y'all push me to this point. Go meditate on that. What up, buddy? No. Yeah. Right here. Do what you call it. I had to go find a damn port. That nigga, my brother would have seen me like a man. My brother would have addressed the shit, not try to go play like all oh, the podcasts in such bad shape, nigga. You know why? Because I've been financing this shit out of my goddamn pocket for the last fucking four years, nigga. Producers leave, producers go. Who here? Nigga, me. Right here. I'm not finna humble you niggas. That nigga ain't edited now video for the motherfucking podcast. You sure put them on your personal Facebook page. <laughs> but see, we through letting whole ass niggas make it over here, bro. I am. When I do whole ass shit, I do it. I own it. You can say some shit is sloppy because it's not produced a certain way. Nigga, it's me by myself with a fucking drug problem, nigga. And a fucking marriage that's upside down. Shit. Fucking holding down a spot in Atlanta, L.A., Houston. <laughs> or you waltz the fuck in, nigga, like you Prince Hakeem? Nah, bro. I'm not impressed. Work on your stand-up, nigga. Stop talking about your life, nigga. Do that. Write some shit. This podcast what got you talking about yourself, nigga. Don't forget where you came from, nigga. I was never nobody's opener. Never. I was never nobody's feature, nigga. Never. I was never nobody's flunky, nigga. Never. I never rode nobody's coattail to get here. Never. I came up straight from Houston, straight from the internet, straight to motherfucking headlining, bro. That go for all you niggas out here, bro. I'm be too fucking humble. The dog is out, nigga. Yeah, he's talking about shooting this shit. I got you would have thought it was some real beef Don't and make then me it post turned them. into some other shit. Don't play. Yeah. You my bro, nigga. When shit was going rough with me and my girl, we were separated. Shit was going on. Nigga you're supposed to have my fucking back, nigga. Not when shit cool. You out here talking about flying my bitch out? No, that ain't cool. I told you run it with me, bro. Do you want to go run around and kiki kaka and all this other bullshit? Okay, nigga. Well, here where I'm at. You go run and tell one of your partners, and they can see me too. Don't give a fuck who it is that you make your videos with. They go for all you hoe ass niggas got something to say to me, nigga. <laughs> I ain't duck now, fade, nigga. Now make a video about that. I don't understand. Yeah, I had like, problems with my marriage. Yeah, I done had like kids I can't see. Yeah, bro. Ain't shit I'm ashamed of. Yeah, I've been fucking up since my daddy died. I, I can check it out. Like, I'm, 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 <laughs> just took a left nah, turn. I like, really? To go in there in that part. <laughs> that shit took a left turn. Don't oh, be a slime ass nigga, bro. You could have resolved this. You all right? We just need. Uh, yeah, the, the whole flying the wife out thing. I mean, if that's true, then yeah, that's that's foul and shit. It's, it's just, I mean, but 
uh, what is what is talking to the internet gonna do about it? Hey, you got a way to call him? They yeah. just gonna be call like, ah, oh, delay we'll tried to fuck yeah, you tell him, tell him I'm here, I got the part. Like my nigga, just cause you my nigga don't mean you get cops blanche, bro. And fool, I love him to death, bro. He been trying to kick the peace, bro. But nigga, hey man. Hey. Hey. Didn't y'all say that uh, Delay uh, responded to some of this shit? Because I didn't see that. So I put an address on it. <laughs> Niggas be so quick to put the address. Like, what my ad I'm going to put my address on this motherfucker, man. Let you know where I'm at, man. So we can we can yell at each other, man. Don't know don't none of these niggas really be fighting, man. Yeah, do brothers do fight, nigga. Stop ducking. She could have dug my fade. You thought you was oh, you wanted to get Hollywood. Nigga, you know you could have pulled up at the manor. I could have pulled up out there. Think about it. Think about it. These niggas was doing a podcast together. Now all of a sudden they don't they they hesitant to know where each other is at or pulling up on on one another. Y'all niggas pulled up on each other every week. <laughs> now all of a sudden <laughs> now all of a sudden niggas like yes yeah, i'll put my address up it's like nigga y'all already know y'all be at nigga y'all was fucking <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying you don't want to shoot that fade you don't because you Did ain't he? got a dog in this fight your heart ain't in this let's see let's see you said it's on black babbles page Hold on. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this nigga all day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna listen to that nigga all day. <laughs> My bad. But we gonna listen to this. We hurting with you. He said we hurting with you, dog. Shit, you know what I mean? Like in front of us. It, it hurt us. And I understand you more hurt than everybody else, but, bro, you going through this shit in front of us, it fucks with us. Let me let me address the comments right quick. Uh, hey, even if somebody was a swinger or we were swinging, that shit got weird. shit to do with nothing. That's how little shit you know about what you're talking about. Nigga, you think I'm afraid to talk about me and my wife swinging and doing some wild shit? Nigga, you know who the fuck I am? Do you know who the name, who I got tatted on my fucking arm, bro? Nigga, I live my motherfucking truth, nigga. Right. But that'd be the thing. People that, that don't you don't know that you that's don't like, worry about. That's yeah, like but people that you don't your know. Your girl used to be a, 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 some shit, and you trying to validate, hey, man, fuck shit is fuck shit. Yo, Billy, you can't worry about the niggas you don't know. If you don't know them, I'm not worried about, about that, but see, I call shit out. Like, nigga, when you charge, when you charge niggas five hours to try and, and then you, then you add insult, it's like, nigga, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. This ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, you trying to fly my wife out ain't got nothing to do with if a nigga was swinging. It's like, all right, give me a perfect case of this. This helps people understand shit. Because mind you, that's where, <laughs> that's the lack of accountability that niggas have in situations. I've niggas never seen their podcast. The fuck shit. Versus just be, being a straight up, nigga, stand on your two, nigga. You talking about you don't him? Wanna stand a, you don't want to stand on your two. You know why? Because when you stand on your two, nigga, you're going to have to see a nigga on this two. You don't want to do that. See, I, nigga, you can't ape. I, I'm an Eminem, you, bro. I'm an eight mile. You, I'm going to take the bullets out of the gun. I'm going to tell them myself first. Uh oh. Here <laughs> right. we go. Right. Here we go. It just sucks for us, Billy. I mean, he should just start telling everybody how he sucked my dick. That would be my reply. Look at my man's face. <laughs> you can't just say shit like that casual as fuck. And then like not expect motherfuckers to react from it. Or just like I probably <sighs> first thing that we would start with. Yeah, sexual, he sucked my dick. You talking about proverbially. Like No, no, you actually suck, literally sucked my dick. So, there you have it, I guess. <laughs> Not like y'all didn't know this already, but what 
what type of like I I I don't get I don't get the angle on this. You know what I mean? Like I don't get how this was like. I have to hold on. No, nah, man. No, nah, below. Man. Below. Come on, man. No, do you like sucks dick, bro? Why you think you always talking to flame? That nigga's a bottom, bro. Okay, so what's the end game? Run my face. And that and that solves everything. Run my face. What the see fuck? How, see how this hole go? It's a deep yeah, hole. Hey, I promise you. Guess what? Pause. <laughs> he said, "You see how deep this go? You see how deep this hole go?" No, fam. No, we don't. We don't want to know. We don't want to see <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Yo, can somebody please explain? He's like, "Did you miss me? Have some classic episodes. The one with Buka Pone and Teddy Ray was hilarious. I'm gonna have to check that out, man. I'm gonna have to check out that podcast. I never watched it. Uh, he looks so serious when he said it." I mean, who really would say that if they weren't really serious about it? And then let it go on this long without, like, saying, you know, just kidding or I'm joking or try to have a punchline behind it. Ain't no punchline behind it, nigga. He said what he said. He said, well, I be goddamn. These boys out here eating Twizzlers. <laughs> they wearing their boxes backwards with the D.O. in the Come on. Flame said there's a, yeah, no, Flame, Flame said you would be surprised at how many uh, motherfuckers is on the down low and who be hitting up Flame all the time to get with Flame. I heard that. Trust me, I heard that. She said the genuine looking nigga tripping. The genuine looking nigga tripping. Yeah, yeah. Hey, my face is just like the comments. It's just like, remember, Ooh. when the story gets told. He sucked my dick. You might have tried hey. to talk about fucking my wife, but after you fucked her, I Hey, hey Billy, you. my face is like you the cup. My dick. In the cup. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Don't let that pass. Don't let that pass. Listen again. My face is just like the comments. It's just like, remember, whoo. when the story gets told, he sucked my dick. What you else? might have tried hey. to talk about fucking my wife, but after you fucked her, I hey, hey, Billy, my face. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I'm going to play it again so that you can hear what he just said. He said, after you fucked my wife, I fucked you. Listen to that. Listen for that. Listen. You might have tried to talk about fucking my wife, but after you fucked her, I hey, hey Billy, you. my face is like you the cup. Like did cup. you did you hear it? Billy said he put it in that nigga butt. Billy said he put it in that nigga butt. He not only let the nigga give him toppy, he put it in that nigga butt. Did you hear that? I know I'm not the only one that heard that. You might have tried hey. to talk about fucking my wife, but after you fucked her, I. Hey, hey, Billy, you. my face is like you the cup. There's niggas dick. in the cup. Niggas in the comments is feeling my face like, nigga, hey, you ain't say that. No, 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 no. Mouth, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's stay in this hole. Yeah. Whoa. He said, let's stay in this hole. Yeah. No, thank you. Mic drop, nigga. Nothing. Yeah, and fuck me. The you Dookie my... dug out. The bun. That's how I'm feeling right now. Like Billy. Nah. Nah. See, full disclaimer. Full disclaimer. I'm not. I. I don't discriminate, man. Do your thing. If you gay, you gay. If you do that shit, do that shit. But this shit is wild, fam. Yeah. See, see how niggas like to play. See how niggas like to get in there. Hey, now come. Now he come. He make, like the new teller. Make me tell everybody. <laughs> stop, stop telling everybody you suck my dick. Uh, nigga. This nigga's hilarious, yeah. man. 
What the fuck? Um, he said after nigga. you fucked my wife, I fucked you. Now, okay, you, know you suck my dick. Hey, below. Hey, he hey. said that shit with confidence, nah, fam. Yeah. yeah. Now come stop me from telling everybody you suck. Bill. Yeah. This nigga can only say Bill. 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 <laughs> Bill. Bill. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Bill. Bill. Okay. Bill. <laughs> Bill. Yeah. Bill. Say family. Listen, dog. Listen, hey. dog. Bill. Hey, hey, let me ask you a question. Somebody Bill. said that you would suck they dick. When you- Bill. Bill, Bill, God damn it, Bill! You want to go find him and fight him? I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Chasing. First of all, I'm beating <laughs> your ass. The moment, yeah. hey, hey, go stop, you go stop me from keep saying this shit on the radio in the morning. Yeah, in front of all the people. I don't give a fuck. Come see me, nigga. What do you have to say to the people that say, "Billy, you going crazy? Like you tripping?" What is you got to say to them, or is he just speaking his truth, huh? Uh, eh. Don't matter, bro. I'm so, cool. If he run you this fade, we can call this quits. Either that or it's going to go to his kid's school tomorrow and I'm going to put a poster up there. D-Lay sucks dick. Whoa. So, I mean, leave the kids run out of there. Leave the kids out of there, nigga. No, if you want to go to another, let's, go, let's go to that, nigga. Come on, man. Give a fuck about you or your kids, nigga. You fucking up my whole family right now, nigga. Damn. Can I make a Ain't no too far, like nigga. This? Ain't no too far, nigga. I, I don't know Ain't who said it. Let, okay. Let me make a plea to delay. Oh, hey, let me help you make a plea. Let me help you make a plea. Come over here and run me my fade. You don't know your daddy. I know mine. Mine dead, nigga. Now run me my fade, nigga. I'm your daddy. Oh. That's why you suck my dick. Now. Ah! Ah! You can call whoever you want to call. Call Whoa. Action 13. Let's get Isaiah Carey on the line. This nigga facial expression is hilarious. Way to my dick, nigga. Now run me my fade, nigga. I'm your daddy. That's why you suck my dick. Now. <laughs> All right, nigga. All right, nigga. Yo, pup, pup. Hell no. Hold no. Hold no. Hold on. Hold on. We gonna we go skip to this part. <laughs> we go skip to this part. He said, "Damn, he gonna broadcast that shit like it ain't nothing." Yeah, I guess so. He looking for a fight. That man gonna kick, <laughs> kill his ass. <laughs> what would y'all do before I play this video? What would y'all do now? Let's say, let's say, let's give delay the 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 benefit of the doubt and say that he didn't give Billy sloppy toppy. Uh, let's just say that that that's not the case. What would you do if somebody that you knew did this on a major plow not not a pl- major platform excuse me but on, on a on a platform where a bunch of people were going to see it what would you do if you were delay in this situation if you were delay in this situation what the fuck would you do to billy sorrells when you seen him after this shit happens i would like to know let me read off y'all comments, man. The nappy dugout. <sighs> Jesus. Y'all niggas is nasty, man. Nasty. Nasty, man. Big nasty, man. <laughs> big nasty, man confrontation. <laughs> this is a big nasty, man confrontation. If the kids don't bring him out, nothing will. Yeah, him 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 bringing up the kids was a little was a little weird. I, I think that was just his way of trying to com- you know confirm the the altercation in the in the near future. Because honestly, I mean, all it all it would it, it wouldn't even took you to say some shit about my kids, nigga. Try to tell somebody I sucked your dick, nigga. You finna get your ass beat. Drag your ass up and down the street. Make you apologize on camera. That ain't got nothing to do with that with with that other shit. Nah, you that is just that's disrespect. That's flat out disrespect. That goes for like a uh even a situation where a, a dude, let's say a dude uh motherfucking 
had sexual relations with a woman. And she didn't want nobody to know. And this nigga went on live talking about, yeah, Brenda sucked my dick. You know what I'm saying? The bitch was, she was fired in a motherfucker. Now, if Brenda pull up on you and start slicing you with her box cutter because you embarrassed her, what can you do about that? She didn't want you to let that out. He said, we got a, uh, Billy acting like a child. <laughs> uh, Spank said, we got a fight. I'm going to jail. Fuck that. <laughs> Easy said, I can't even imagine myself in this situation. Corinth even said, I'd roast the skin off that nigga because I cause ain't no way people going to uh, believe a fruit booty of, over me. <laughs> Beating his ass makes me look even more, ma- makes me look like I'm trying to silence the truth. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I guess you can rebuttal with just, I mean, you can, you, you can rebuttal with just your words. That That's a fact. Especially if you are unbothered by somebody telling lies, if you know the truth. That's a good point. I'm honestly like, I'm honestly one of those people. <laughs> I'm not finna search for you or no shit like that. If you out there just spreading rumors about me, motherfucker, I'm just gonna, most likely I'm gonna leave it as is because there ain't no truth to it. You ain't got no receipts. You ain't got no facts to prove it. So you just gonna be looking dumb when motherfuckers, when you constantly saying some shit and then somebody finally says, hey, all right, nigga, you saying this shit, where's the proof? And you can't prove nothing. All you can do is just talk shit. <laughs> like Craig said, dog walked the shit out of him. Uh, Delay said Billy, Billy's wife called him all the time. He probably has some spicy text messages from Billy's wife. But after that, they got a box. That's probably where Billy's wife ended up going. As you can see in this video. Don't relapse. Let me tell you something. I love myself way too much. And the fact that I'm clean, I can do this without feeling messed up. I ain't got nothing ill to say about Courtney. I don't like what happened, but I'm not finna go through the, you know, whatever you've been doing for the last seven days, why you didn't feel like you could tell your husband where you are, why you couldn't pick up the phone and just say, hey, I need some time to think. There's a lesson in this. That's toxic, bro. My mom left when I was 11 years old. That's the hardest thing for me to deal with. I can't go, I'm not gonna relapse over you. I'm not gonna do that. I love myself too much. So wherever you've been for the last seven days, that you felt, you didn't wanna tell me, I'm cool with it. I just, hey man, if I'm the problem, I don't wanna step in your way. Okay? I don't know where you've been, and I don't think I should have to be guessing. Even if my assumptions are wrong, I should never have to guess where you are. You turned off your location. You didn't tell me where you were. You took my kids. Hey, man, listen, y'all, don't call me. Ain't nothing wrong with me. It's just how I'm dealing with stuff. And now, you do something crazy to me. I'm, hey, man, I'm airing you out. I'm just I think it was at the gas station now, for So we can avoid half the, hour. Don't ask me the questions. You know exactly what I'm saying. Hey, man, I love you. I'm going to pay child support, You want whatever it is, I ain't trying to, hey man, it is what it is. Y'all don't say nothing crazy to her, that's still, technically, we ain't divorced yet, still my wife, but it's easy for you just to commit. Listen man. I got nothing. I know niggas was blowing up his phone on the live. Like, nigga, get off the live. To do this, this way. Get off this but shit. When a man is asked specifically, nah, man, I'm good. When a man is asked you to communicate and plead it with you, like, yo, oh no, our parents definitely covered in live for wherever she was at. They didn't want to be in the middle of it and they didn't want to tell. Them, hey, bro. I hope not, man. People don't tell me you no know, Christian. People with addictions. That's one thing I want to say, man. That's one thing I don't. I don't want to. I, I. I would hope. That wouldn't happen, man. He he's talking about not relapsing. Hopefully, he's not on drugs in this video. I hope he I hope he doesn't relapse, man, because that's a that's just relapsing is always a recipe for for disaster in many many drastic ways. And uh, despite the situation, Billy's a talented motherfucker. So I hope uh, I hope he doesn't relapse, and I hope it doesn't fucking uh, you know destroy him and his career, or, or you know possibly kill him and shit. I'm about to hold on a second. I know y'all looking at me, my hair is all over my head. I ain't trying to look for no sympathy. I'm just, 
That's a fact. Spank Loke you... said, I can't let another man or woman slander my name or disrespect my kids. I won't go looking for you. But when we cross paths, you know what it ben, is. Ben, bro, so I can't I can't take that I can't take that on the chin. You you caught flights, you I don't know where you been. Somebody said you shot a divorce reality show, and if you did, congratulations. Whatever you've been doing for the last seven days, I hope it was fun. But I can't. That was it. Okay? Who's Billy's yeah. wife? She like a, a cold summer. She a and an social media woman. person or what? I have not been single in nine years. Hey, man, listen. Anybody texting me talking about get off social media? Hey, bro. This is better than being on drugs, fam. So I'm saying what it is. Because I don't want no confusion. I don't want nobody coming to me saying, yeah, I saw your wife doing this. I saw this. I, hey, man, I ain't trying to hear all that. Let's just say from today forward, we done. All right? I'm going to stay away from you. I'm not going to call you. I actually blocked you. You know how to get in touch with me through my mama. My kids are fine. They will show. Hey, man, I love you to death. I love you too much. Like, I'm, listen, bro. I'm all in with this shit. He said, I love you too Bro, look much. at this. I love you to death, nigga. 25K on your birthday party, bro. Like, cook with each other. Shit. I'm going to do it bigger next year. I want to be better, bro. I want to be a better father for our kids, dog. I want to be better. And they deserve me to be better. And I ain't been right. I ain't been perfect either. But, hey, man, I pleaded with you. I said, hey, man, don't do this this way. We don't got to be ugly. But I'm going to be the man and say, hey, this is where the line draws. For respect for myself. Well, here's the thing. E e uh, Easy says, my thing is, him and this woman ain't together. Why is he still clocking who she fucking? Well, here it's one thing if you just out fucking the, the, the dude that you met and y'all whatever. But this is somebody he does a podcast with, somebody who he's supposed to be friends with or whatever. So that's kind of weird. It's almost like, hey, what was going on while we were together and me and this nigga were around and me and this nigga were cool? You know what I'm saying? You never know. You can never put it past people to do some slime ball shit like that. Billy be full at the at that booger sugar, full of that booger sugar, and he probably will do anything for some square, from some spare uh, spare change. Uh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Corn said you got her name tatted on your body, and you're surprised she treated you like a beta male. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. And from the sounds of it, they were living the poly lifestyle. Yeah, that's another. Well, that's another thing. When people decide to live that type of lifestyle where you share your partner, there should be no rules and stipulations on that. You already sharing your partner. So if your partner decides, hey, one of these nights I'm gonna go out and just go fuck somebody, what's the what's the problem? Oh, cause you don't know this nigga and y'all can y'all y'all can motherfucker uh fuck together. Nigga, he's already about to smash even if he was with you. Why the fuck does it even matter? So if you if you out here being poly with motherfuckers and you sharing each other, just don't be surprised when the motherfucker dip off and start fucking the nigga that y'all fucking together. I never been divorced before. I never planned on it. I planned on spending the rest of my life with you. And like, truth be told, it's just you really not happy with me, bro. Like you not, and it's okay. I'm not speaking on speculation, bro. Like, listen, bro. Like, like. If you're not going to come over here to just listen to what I got to say, that's fine. The negativity, I ain't said nothing negative about this one. But when you... What's it, up, it's, Brandy? It's lines. It's boundaries. I shouldn't have to wonder where my wife is. I shouldn't have to wonder where my kids are. Like, that's mental anguish. He has a point there. I regardless if, regardless if he had a motherfucker out. sitting there uh, slobbing on his knob, you know, they still have kids involved. You know what I'm saying? And and he makes a point there. When motherfuckers get spiteful, they know what to do to hurt you. And they and if she knows that his kids mean a lot to him, she's going to do something to hurt him in that way if he hurt her. Now, I don't know how he hurt her. I don't know what made her dip off and not speak to him for a week. Maybe it is because of this situation, but I don't think that would spawn somebody to be not communicating to somebody who is a father of their kids over that shit. 
unless you just really fucking spiteful. To try and make me break. I'm not going to go back to drugs. I'm not going to. Facts. It's weird shit. Niggas be confused from the jump. I hurt my wife. She hurt me. We both have hurt each other. When you love somebody, you choose to allow that person to hurt you. There are going to be things that happen that hurt each other in a relationship. It ain't intentional. I never went out. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. But I want you to be happy. I want my daughters to see you happy with a man that you love and you respect. And I know you've lost respect for me. And maybe it was all the shit that I had. I said that to you already. That's already there. Maybe. I know, bro. We just got to get used to this, dog. Hey, man. I know. I know I feel you. I can't live like this, though. I'm going to still love you. Still going to support you. But I can't do this no more. I can't do that. No, I can't. All right? <laughs> Please, y'all, don't say nothing crazy to my wife, dog. Don't say nothing crazy to Coco. But I got to draw a line somewhere, bro. And it's just... To not where to not know where you've been for a week. You 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 flown multiple times, bro. Like I can't rock with that dog. He knows she flying right now. That's that joint account shit. Alright. I will always love you and I always got a spot for you in my heart. This nigga gonna cry. Like I'm not going to sit up here and publicly shame my wife. I'm telling the truth. Like, because I don't know where you've been. Maybe that might inspire you to have a dialogue with me about that. But at this point, like, I've, uh, this shows me that I'm, I'm forcing you to stay with me. And I feel like I don't want to force you no more. I don't want to make you love me. I don't want you to feel like, like I'm trying to get better, bro. Like, I want to be a better man. And I, and I, I, I ain't even on no, I want to be on a whole stroll, bro. Like, like, I legit I plan on spending the rest of my life with you. Strong. And I'm going to be in your life helping you with these I'm kids. Like, definitely life. that. I mean, if you want me to be, if you want to let me be kids. around, I mean, if I got to go to court over that shit, I hope not. But, hope we don't like, have to go to, to court. But this whole, like, keeping my kids stuff and making me go crazy and not telling me, like. You can't keep my kids, bitch. That's foul. Week. Friday. This week is fuck. I love you. Wherever you are. What up, bro? Wherever you with. I pray that you're safe. Pray that our children are safe. And that's it. Cry, Billy. It'll be okay. We know that you're gay. I don't want to be this way, bro. It's going to be okay. But I gotta try to learn something. I gotta stop the cycle. If, if I'm a part of the cycle and I'm causing it, I'm stopping it today because I want better for you, bro. And I'm not going back down that road again. share with y'all when my daddy left and this is equally as important if not more important every day for me right he's just crying man time to clear our heads I don't want to say nothing else crazy to you I don't want to I don't I want to be better than that I want to be better motorcycles pass I want to be better he said, I'm going to go in the car so they can hear me cry. Rick, thanks for riding with me. Thanks for letting me ride with you. I don't know how I would get through this trip without you, little sis. I'm just going to start. You know, they be calling the, 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 the best friend, little sis. Always be there for you, but right now you really holding me. To, you really holding. Oh, me that to might be his little sister. Is that his real you have little no sister? Idea. I could just be making shit up. I don't and know. 
I know people might say, hey man. What up this? I can move these, I can take these videos down. I'm taking down the videos that I put up earlier, but I got a vent and I got to get off my chest. So when I can't talk to the person that I'm dealing with, for whatever reason, I can't go talk to drugs, bro. I'm not going to do that. I'm stronger than that. Don't do I'm it, Billy. Break. Don't do you it. Call me a simple, you call me a sucker. Hey, bro. I'm not going to let myself down. I'm not going to let my kids down. I'm not going to let my wife down. Don't you do it. At some point, she lost hope. In Stay me strong, black man. And not even on no relationship shit. I got I owe that woman to know that, you know what? He's going to be the dude that I know he has the potential to be. The dude that I wanted him to be when I married him. And then, I'm sorry it didn't work out that way, but I don't want you to keep suffering if you feel like you're suffering. It hurts. God damn it, it hurts. So, here we are. In a space of... <coughs> Uh, uh, entanglement of sorts. But let me just say, man, for one, this should be a lesson to keep your motherfucking business off the motherfucking internet. Um, also, if you're not down to really share your partner and be about that life, don't do that either. Motherfuckers be out here really wanting to be rebels and shit. Like, oh yeah, me, I'm we cold as fuck. You know, me and my wife cool as fuck. We we let we let the other girls come through. We smash on them. You know what I'm saying? Together, we don't bang them out together. And then we you know what I'm saying. And we talk to the curve. And you know, we go back to loving each other. <laughs> yeah, cool. Until you fucking end up on camera talking about, I just want to see my kids. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Hold on. I just somebody said they just sent me. What you say you sent me? Hold on, B. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Good looking. Good looking black man. Appreciate you. We gonna we're gonna look at this real quick. Appreciate text you, brother. Y'all read the text message. Y'all read it. I'ma fly you out. Yeah. Uh, pack your bags, get a babysitter. Here's what you don't know. In my crew, I would do that for everybody. And this is what you don't know. That marriage, that's crisis management. And I'm doing it. Hey, he's smoking Me and others too. are doing it. I'm managing crisis. Why would you text my wife at one in the morning? Hey, first of all, first of all, like I said, I've, I don't know who this guy is. My first time hearing about him was during this whole Billy Sorrell shit. So I have an honest question. Does he look like somebody that would possibly suck a dick? Knock it off. <laughs> I've had conversations <laughs> with that woman at 4.30 in the morning on FaceTime. That was, sometimes that was you know, perfect. sometimes you don't. Most of the time it's to talk her off the ledge from getting you locked up because you know the situation that you were in. You know that. I never try to do nothing fucking ill to try to take something from you. Never. That was a frequent thing, me being on the phone mediating shit throughout the night. Three, four hours. Talking her off the ledge because she about to call the police. And if they call the police and they come this time, but you don't factor it in. You just roll me under the bus or try to, but you can't. You know why you can't? Because the truth, I don't give a damn. You can't tuck it. You can't put that motherfucker under your closet. You can't put it under the bed. Uh -oh. That motherfucker's going to seep. I didn't want to talk about this. I don't do this. And it's not to slander him again. I pray for you to get help, man. You ain't helping nobody by doing none of this. You're not helping any. Hold up. Johnny said, low key, bro, you need to go back in. They did uh, back in uh, the Did You Miss Me pod. 
uh, to rewatch side of the game, bro. They they shit was lit. No homo. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go back and rewatch uh, the podcast because I I want to do it justice, man. Because it seemed like y'all really fuck with they pod as well, and uh, I I trust y'all opinion on sh- on shit if if you think it's funny. Since we had the same interest and some funny shit in the chat, you know what I'm saying. I trust GMS, so I, I'm definitely go back and check out their podcast. Anybody, <clears throat> stop the lies. I never took anything. I don't want anything from you. If you made me and you didn't, why you need my shit up on the site? Take it all down. But you showed me who you were. You ain't funny. My my talent is unquestionable. I'm not even going down that road with you. Unquestionable. But your jealousy has presented itself. And people try to tell me throughout there, but I don't look at that like that. Because when I rock with you, I rock with you. I don't get mad at you like, Billy, not funny. You still funny. That's solid. That's solid. Not going to the, right into the mode of hate. In an an emotional state and running to the internet and making things dirty. What's up, DJ Travo? What's up, May Premium? What's up, JoJo? I need a drink, bartender. I need a real goddamn drink. Give me a goddamn drink, bartender. I'm paying her. What you think? Hold on, let me read that off. DJ Travel said, Dude, I, didn't want to do it. I don't know if I believe what Billy said. I think it was a way for him to come out the closet and get delay to give him the fade. This? Seems like he wants more than the fade from delay. I didn't want to do this, man. <laughs> Seems like he wants them more. I didn't want to do this. And let me be clear about something. That when I say mouth. swinging, let me tell you what I mean. Um, there's no homosexual activity going on at all. It's me doing manly shit, and that's it. But <laughs> when I talk about um, <laughs> hold up, does this sound like a nigga that wasn't giving Billy Rugburn? There's no homosexual activity going on at all. It's <laughs> me doing manly shit, and that's it. But when I talk about um, the the intervening and the, and the mediating in the relationships, I would do it for him late nights, trying to talk him off the ledge and doing some crazy shit, as well as talking her off the ledge. Late nights, 4.30 in the morning. She, she called me. Talk me off the ledge. This is her words before I do some crazy shit. And I'm like, okay, let me try to fix this. That's my friend. Let me work this thing out so no police is called. Okay, now, the text message. (sighs) Y'all have seen the text message, and everybody jumped gun and immediately, but have you asked yourself, where's the rest of the text message? That's one. Number two, let me tell you about that conversation in which he knew. Or why don't you just show the the messages? It was my birthday. We're in the Dominican Republic. Him and Fu were supposed to fly out for my birthday. Well, they didn't. I'm calling them the whole time. I'm partying, having a good time. It's ladies. Hey, man, what's good? You fall. That's weird. Usually when niggas have proof, they'll just show the proof. Calling out, man, we ain't probably won't be able to come. This is him. We probably won't be able to come. But, you know, you can fly out your girl. And I'm like, okay, cool. You're I'm going to hit her right now. Shit. I'm going to hit her right now and let her know what it is. I don't know how that message disappeared out of our group chat in WhatsApp. The whole app is, the whole text thread with me and him is deleted. But I can see a snippet of that. I can see a snippet of that, of, of yo in the, in, the, in the WhatsApp chat. You know what I think it is? I just thought about this. You know what I think this is? I think this man was playing the rescuer to Billy's wife. He was hitting up Billy's wife and hitting her with the passive aggressive ass fucking like the low key fucking like, hey, I'm here for you if you need me, sis. 
but low key just saying like the extra shit like oh you don't deserve that this is this isn't something you need to be going through you need to make sure billy's doing what he need to do and take care of you and them kids or else you might have to leave baby you might have to go somewhere else you might have to get the look th- look at his face right now look at look at his face and just listen to me talk don't even look at me look i'm, I'm gonna put the screen off this is how he's saying yeah, baby, now look at me. You know what I'm saying? Look, all you need to do is come over here where I'm at, and I'll treat you better than him. Look, I don't even do coke. I don't even do coke. I don't even fuck with that shit. i never seen an eight ball a day in my life. All I do is smoke weed, and you know what I'm saying? Chill. That's that's all I do, and I'll treat you better. I swear to God, I'll be the best stepdaddy you ever seen in your life, nigga. I, don't, I just swear to God, baby, just please leave. You got to leave him right now. He going to be in a coke rage. He going to beat you. I swear he going to do something crazy to you, baby. You got to come over here, please. Does that does that not sound like a, a a simp nigga? Is that is that really what motherfuckers be on? Cause I know niggas like that. I know niggas like that. Now, like I said, what up, Meech? Meech in the motherfucking chat. Hey, everybody say what's up to Meech with the good smoke in this motherfucker. He said these niggas gay as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shout out to Beach, nigga. Look, but that's how that's how motherfuckers be. That's how motherfuckers be. They'll they'll creep in, you know, try to play the hey, I'll talk to you too, and and try to play. But like, why the fuck you playing both sides when these two people that are in a marriage are working out their problems or are going through shit? Why are you the one trying to? I'm trying to talk her off the ledge. I'm trying to talk him off the ledge, nigga. Who's who's friend? First of all, whose friend are you? Second of all, who are you like? Who, who, what is your agenda, my nigga? What's your agenda? Let's just say he wasn't giving Billy top. Let's just say he wasn't giving Billy top. There had to be something behind him wanting to do something with Billy's wife, right? Just given the fact that he's telling this story, like I just I see that shit. I be I be noticing shit about niggas when they do certain shit now. I don't know this motherfucker, but I can say that I can I, I I just I can have an educated guess on how certain niggas move. You know what I'm saying? This guy, the way first of all, first of all, fuck the other shit. This nigga said you sucked his dick. What are you gonna do about it, motherfucker? You can't just go past that shit and say no gay shit ever happened, and I just do manly shit. That doesn't that, that that what that doesn't cover the, that doesn't cover the basis. This nigga said you gave him fellatio. Fuck talking motherfuckers off the ledge, nigga. Did you give him sloppy toppy, Mister Delay? That is the biggest question. Am I right or am I wrong? If you do nothing but manly shit. And that is who you are. You are a man. You should not let another man falsely accuse you of that. As a straight man. And this is not hate. Because motherfuckers will take this as hate. Motherfuckers will take this as homophobic. Motherfuckers will take this as this motherfucker hates gay niggas. No. This is about respect. And this is about the simple fucking fact. That if you sat up there and said out of your mouth that I did some shit I did not do, and you created this narrative around me, for one, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna find you and beat your ass because you said some words. Those are just words. Those are just words. But my rebuttal isn't going to be, hey, ain't no gay shit happen over here, man. You know, because all I do is manly shit. That sounds like the most undercover shit I've ever heard in my life. Now, maybe maybe that's just how he goes about shit. Maybe he didn't think that was such a big deal. Maybe he knows Billy enough to be like, yo, this nigga does hella blow. He snaps out and says erratic shit all the fucking time. So this ain't nothing new to me. So I'm not going to take it as a... Random nigga would take it, such as myself. 
Now I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to play I'm trying to play both sides because I don't know these people, but I'm just trying to say. If I was in a situation where somebody I know, somebody I worked with, somebody who I apparently am close with to the point where I can fucking text his wife and talk her off the ledge late at night, 2 a.m. And this motherfucker comes out in the public to say, this nigga sucked my dick. What do you what the fuck do you think? Like, bro, I know you. So for one, that it ain't no ain't no sitting the address. I know where you live. We can pull up on each other at any moment. I'm gonna have to pull up on you. I'm going to have to pull up on you. Oh, let's talk about that. Me said Orlando Brown did the same thing to Nick Cannon. Now, do we think that Billy Sorrell is de- is dealing with mental? illness is he dealing with a mental mental illness right now to the point where he is just lashing the fuck out and saying outlandish shit about people and it don't matter who it is maybe the people he loves maybe the people he cares about he say you haven't <laughs> pumpsy pumpsy green said he had an out of booty mix <laughs> He said this nigga had an out of booty experience. God damn. That is the joke of the day. Ring the bells. This nigga Pumpsy had the motherfucking joke of the day. That is the best one I have seen today. This nigga said he had an out of booty experience. I should punch my goddamn fucking screen right now. That shit is goddamn. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, bravo. Bravo, Pumpsy. Bravo. Come on. Get, 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 put put some claps. Put some claps in the comments, man. Please put some claps in the comments. That was a beautiful joke, man. Thank you for pulling up. I haven't seen that. That's a new name, too. Random ass name. Never seen it in the chat before. This motherfucker came with the haymaker. Now, uh, let me let me let me see what what he has to say to end this shit. On the basically you copied and pasted, bro. Don't do that, bro. Don't manufacture a crisis. You're dealing with somebody who needs some attention. You've been slanging that. You've been slanging mud at me for the last month. I never said nothing. People be smart. Be smart. Y'all saw me not saying nothing. You knew the character that I possess. Why would you question that? Oh, yep. You're right. Some people want a story. And they just want to believe something. It's no competition. I'm supposed to do this. I'm ordained to do this. There's no negative tongue that can speak against me. There's nobody that can come against me that can stop God's plan. I'm supposed to be doing this. You understand me? I didn't build my platform on negativity and, 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 and gimmicky shit. It shows you a lot about a person when you go to those strength. You go to those levels. You doing this? I taught you how to do this. I, you, you, you did take it in videos. Take it in, nigga. You. You did it. But then you come back and now you knock it. That's not solid. Be solid. Everybody's leaving. Ernest and Simon left. Me, I'm gone. You're the common denominator. It's you. You the problem. Do better, bruh. And stop ruining good things. Because Did You Miss Me was a great thing. It was three guys rocking, telling their own stories. And moving in their own lane. Mm. And we had plans of doing things. Dog, you got to know. You can't big dog me. Because I step away and I do my own shit. Thus this. I'm doing fine. I'm going to do fine. I'm gifted to do this. Don't ever say you made me. Get your life together before you talk about predicting what somebody else is doing and how you've been accomplishing this to their life. You're not that. Do better, bruh. We black men with kids to set an example. Get off the internet yelling and screaming and doing all that. Don't serve you no purpose. Look, for the people that subscribe, 
I hope you got what you want. More than anything, man, I hope you understand something out of this. Something that's, that's that, that, that. That would drive a man crazy. You put time and energy into stuff like that. You really care about your family. You have your faults at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden that shit gets taken away because of the things that you couldn't, uh, you couldn't quit doing. So, uh, and one thing I will say, just to just to be clear, Billy, nobody gives a fuck if you're gay, my guy. Nobody gives a shit about that. Do your thing. Uh, what's not cool is just like talking about niggas like literally sucking your dick out of nowhere, like nigga that was unwarranted. Just to just to spark up a fight. <laughs> that could potentially like leave somewhere else because some niggas really don't take that as like fighting words. Niggas will do other things over shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's there's still a, a generation of motherfuckers who literally will take words and you know it'll become fatal over some shit like that. And it wouldn't even have to be the person you're directly talking to. It could be somebody that that they love and care about who won't let that shit slide. You know what I'm saying? Like there's people out like you got to remember that. When you're when you are a, a a public figure and people know who you are, people follow you and there's enough motherfuckers out here that pay attention. You got to watch what you say about certain motherfuckers cuz niggas that it, it doesn't always necessarily have to be the motherfucker you talking about. It could be somebody that they love and care about who will never let some shit slide like that. And will find a way to make you pay for what you said. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's technically this situation, because clearly, I guess, you know, this this guy has it under control. He does manly shit. But uh I just I, I don't know. I, I I'm not the type of person to do some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't I can't be that person. I handle my business, my my personal shit. When I'm going through some shit, I leave that shit out with my with with my personal life. I don't bring that shit. Like if I decide to come on here and tell a story about some shit that happened, it's some shit that already happened and that I'm moving forward through. Or or if it's some shit that is going on in my life, like, you know, when I bring up my mom, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that my mom is dealing with. You know what I'm saying? I I bring that shit up just to, you know, bring more, more, more praying energy around. You know what I'm saying? I know people, you know, Send out they they prayers and well wishes and shit like that, but I'm not finna bring up no. I'm not finna do this shit. I'm not finna air out my entire you know. Hey, my 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 wife is leaving. My kids is gone. I haven't seen my kids. This nigga over here sucked my dick. I don't know what to do. I'm probably gonna relapse, but I'm not gonna relapse. It's a lot. That's a lot of shit that you just can't take back off the internet. Like when it's on the internet, it's there. You cannot erase that shit. There's nothing you can do to take that shit off. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. GMS, would you smash the homie's girl if he asked? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's just weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause then, then every time I see her, I'll be like thinking about the fact that I smashed her. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a different see, people act different after they fuck somebody. No matter what. If you fuck somebody, you will start acting different towards them regardless of whatever way it is it's going to be a different type of tension it's going to be a different type of atmosphere it's going to be a different type of interaction no matter what it is so you can't i i i, I couldn't do it i i'm not no i'm not no swinger i'm not no poly whatever the fuck nigga i i <laughs> that shit is not my i mean if you do it do what you do but dude, that's another thing just remember if you do that shit, don't get mad at your partner when they decide to just skip out one night and go fuck the person you already been fucking. That that's not that's not that's not fair. If y'all both fucked the motherfucker, now y'all y'all already got a y'all already got the pass now. I don't care what your rules are, it shouldn't be no rules. Now the 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 pussy is for everybody, the dick is for everybody when it comes to that situation. You wanna be poly nigga, really be that shit then. Since you so big and bad and so confident in your relationship, why the fuck you gonna get mad when motherfuckers skip the fuck out and wanna fuck somebody else when you already fucking other people? It don't make no sense. That's how fucked up humans are. Nigga, they be thinking they they train themselves to believe that they a certain type of way when they really not. 
it be an ego thing most of the time. <laughs> the anvil. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a probably. Hey, I might actually change the time up. Do y'all think I should change the time up and go go uh go later in the in the day instead of doing three o'clock? Probably make the episodes later in the day, later in the night. What y'all think? Let me ask y'all this before I shout y'all names out and get up out of here. What y'all think I should do? Should I should I move should I move the time later on so motherfuckers can peep in this motherfucker more? I haven't really thought about that. Let me know. I got to know. It will help me out. It will help the channel out. I feel like more people are on later on in the day. And what time should I do it at? Seven? Seven. Seven o'clock. JG, he the moderator too, so he made it. He made it happen. King Otto said later, I don't get off till four. Okay. I'm listening. The chat has spoken, and I am listening. Later time on Saturdays. Okay. That's another thing. I think I'm gonna switch from doing it uh, every day too. I'm not gonna be doing it every day now. I'm gonna be switching up and doing it like every other day because I got other shit going on. I'm trying to run the the, the GMS shop, <clears throat> getting merch done, man. I got I got photo shoots. I'm 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 doing music. I'm I'm trying to do some other shit. So I gotta make sure I make time for that because I got a lot more content coming. Seven o'clock, six or seven, seven o'clock. We gonna we gonna settle on seven GMS GMS family. Let's let's settle for that, man. I think that's a I think that's a beautiful time, and I think that's a, a great way to fucking communicate with motherfuckers, man. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, nah, we going we gonna make sure because I don't like when going I don't like going live when my favorite fucking shows are live. So when fifty one fifty, Craig Facts, three G's, any of that shit. When any of that shit is, is live, I don't like going live. So we gotta make sure that we do it on the days when everybody gonna pull up and everybody gonna kick it and then we can all gravitate towards everything else at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I'm the I'm the nigga that likes to work with the community. So we gonna make that happen, man. So we gonna we gonna make seven o'clock happen, and then we gonna make uh. So we gonna we gonna work the we gonna work the schedules around. Wednesday and Friday, cause I I yeah, that's another thing. I usually do the fifty one fifty review on Wednesday, and then I can do the Craig facts on Thursday, which could work out. We can see. We gonna work it out. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna see the schedule. I'm I'm gonna also talk to. Uh, I'm gonna talk to AP as well, figure out what they schedule is like, so we can do. Uh, make sure I can. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to do it on the. I don't want to do it at the same time or anything like that. Yeah, make sure y'all add GMS to the motherfucking schedule. Matter of fact, hit that bell because I'm gonna do the previews and let y'all know when I'm about to go live and shit, so y'all can see the shit. But anyway, let me go ahead and shout y'all names out. First of all. Like I said, the GMS shop is open. It's on motherfucking Square Space. If you look at the if you look at the description, I got the fucking link in the description right now to go to the GMS shop. You can click that link. You can see we got the shirts, we got the jerseys in white and black. We got the GMS rolling trays. I also got a few surprises coming later this summer. Uh, I know y'all gonna want to cop those motherfuckers as well. And uh, also, GMS episode four is out right now. Right now, GMS episode four is out. That is the newest beat tape. If you want to go cop that shit, go listen to it. It is free, absolutely free to download and to listen to. Or if you want to support, you can purchase it at your own price. You can name your own price from a dollar to five to ten. It does not matter. You can go ahead and motherfucking get that shit. Also, let's see. If you also want to support, man, go follow me on all my socials. If you see it above my head, all my socials, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, I'll follow everybody back. And what else? Let's see. What else can we what else can we do? Oh, yeah, yeah. And also above my head, as you can see, you can also be the type of person to be a blessing and donate to a motherfucker's cash app. If you want to 
uh, help support further that way and support the channel because that's exactly what we trying to do. I'm trying to get to 1K subscribers, man, so we can motherfucking get this shit lit. I got so much shit in store for y'all, man. I got so much shit that I want to do, so much motherfucking content I want to give y'all. So if y'all support me, I'll support y'all, which is another reason why I like shouting you motherfuckers out at the end. So motherfucking, wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. We good, we good, we good, we good, we good. This a beat right here. I made this shit. I made this beat. If you've been here from day one, you know I made this shit right here. Every beat that you hear on this channel, I made. Full disclaimer. Shout out to 651 Loke. Shout out to Alma Dixon Cider. Shout out to Isha Boo. Shout out to Black Man America. Shout out to my nigga J.R. Miller. Shout out to Bianca. Shout out to Spank Loke Pimpin'. Shout out to Wonder Man. Shout out to Easy Speezy. Hey, shout out to Bob. <laughs> shout out to Bob Backwoods. Yeah. Shout out to JL. Shout out to Corin Stevens. Shout out to Quentin Braxton. Hey. Shout out to Brandy H. Grim Dog, The Islamic, Made Premium Denim, Johnny Cooper, JoJo Jones, DJ Travo, Kid Cartel, Hey, Meech with the good smoke in this motherfucker. Oh, hold up, hold up, pause, 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 pause. Everybody, once again, give a round of applause to Pumpsy Green for the motherfucking killer joke earlier. God damn, you are a motherfucking savior. You got the joke of the day, man. Pumpsy Green with the out of booty experience. Maurice Britton, what's happening? I need a soundboard so I can do a round of applause in this motherfucker. JG, the Anvil. King Otto. Hey, hey. Three G's. AP done pulled up in this motherfucker. What's happening, three G's? Hey. I see y'all, man. Put a GMS in that motherfucker, man. Go shop at that GMS shop too. Get you a motherfucker. Get you a motherfucking jersey, nigga. Get you copy one of these, man. They fresh in the motherfucker. I done had this motherfucker for a year. And it still look brand new. Get you a GMS jersey. White or black. Get you a GMS shirt. The motherfuckers coming in. Get you a GMS tray so you can roll up on that shit. Get rid of that dusty ass other shit that you got. Get you a GMS tray. I got some other shit coming to you. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it, man. Peace out, y'all. Roll up. Saturday, it's a beautiful day. We out.